There we go. Yeah, so welcome to our first lab for EDCI 337, Interactive and Multimedia Learning. And we're gonna be focusing on WordPress as this is gonna be the main tool that you're gonna be using to uh, submit your assignments. And hopefully, at least my hope is that it might be a bit of a portfolio for you to showcase some of the, uh, hopefully the wonderful work you're gonna be doing during this course uh, to help you both educationally, of course, uh, as well as potentially professionally, depending on what, uh, what type of work you want to get into eventually. So, um, I'm hoping that most of what we're going to do today will be hands-on with everyone being able to do some work in WordPress and hopefully add uh, some images and maybe some videos to blog posts. Either you could be working on the blog post for your assignment this week during our time today, or just practicing is just fine as well, of course. So, uh, you're just, I won't read it out, but this is what we're gonna be doing, reviewing some basic WordPress con concepts, uh, go over how to embed images and videos, and then just any other questions, or if anyone's had any problems setting up their WordPress website, I'll help you troubleshoot any issues that you've had. So first off, the WordPress basics, and I'm just gonna flip over to my WordPress blog on opened.ca. So mine, and this is one, I, there's nothing really important here, but it's what I use for demonstrations and testing. It's rmacua.opened.ca. And I've customized it a little bit here and we'll go over how to do some customizations, but to log into my blog with the template I've got, I have to scroll down to the bottom of the web page, and there's a login link there. So I'll click in on login. And again, we'll go, I'll go over how to actually set up the blog later, but I'll just quickly go over some of the key features. And then you can refer back to the video of this session if you have any, uh, if you'd like to later on. So this is the administrative interface. You've got menu items on the left-hand side here. Um, and for submitting your assignments, um, actually, I'll, I'll go on how to, to change the look and feel of your website first. So if you go to appearance on the left hand side here and then themes, it'll show you a range of different themes that you can choose from for your website. So I'm going to open up my website just to give you an example of this. So this is what my website looks like. If I go back to my themes here, let's say, you know what, I really like this very simple looking theme. So I'm gonna click on activate to activate this other theme. And now I'll go over to my website, I'll refresh it and magically, it looks much simpler, a much simpler look and feel. And let's say I look at this and decide, you know what? I really don't like that theme. I'd like to go back to my original theme, um, which I believe was Hemingway. Let's go back here and refresh it. And there we go, I'm back to that other theme. So you can easily change the theme and the look and feel of your website. The other thing you can do- uh, Question, Sorry, can yep, I go ahead. What's the difference between theme and template? It's basically the same thing. Is there a specific template you want us to use? No, uh, that's up to okay. you. Okay, yep. thank you. The, um, okay. So in, when you're setting up your website, we do provide a template for you, which is this website here. And it comes with some categories and other things that I'll go over. And it has the theme, it's using this theme here, the Hemingway theme. So there is a template and this is what we provide everyone. It has the blog assignments so that you can categorize your blog posts under the different assignments for submission. Um, and it has some instructions built into it just so that the instructions are where, uh, you know, right at point of need, hopefully. So that great question though. Sorry, who was that again? Uh, that was Ben. Oh, hey, Ben. Thank you for that, Ben. So uh, sorry, his... sorry, clarification again. So when we start, um, it says pick a template for your new site. Is that where it's posted under? No, when, so. Am I jumping ahead? Yeah, you're jumping. I've, I'm okay, actually wait, doing it a little bit reverse order because okay. I, you haven't set up your website, I'm guessing. No. That's perfectly fine. Okay. I'm just going to give you a quick overview and then uh, 
you can start setting up your website. And then if you run into any problems, I'll give you a hand. But the uh, website, and I'll post this link, this will walk you through how to set up your website. And you don't, you, you select a template down here, you create an account first, and then you select, select the EDCI 337 template. Yeah. But no worries. Good question. No, I guess um, I had done that, but under the templates, it wasn't, that one wasn't part of the selection. Oh, the, okay. Well, we'll come back to that in just a minute. Yes. Sorry to interrupt. No, no, no problem at all. I'd, I'd rather you got, you ask the question and me to have to tell you that we'll cover it later than me not covering it all. So no worries about that, Ben. Uh, so if I've selected this scene, let's say I want to customize it and change the picture up top. Um, we've got site identity where you can change the name and the tagline for your blog. You can also change colors and image header. So this is the default one here. And I'll take a second just to update. So that's the default one. That's a pretty picture, but I want something a little more techy. So I actually I selected this one first, but it was a little bit a little bit too busy. So I ended up using this picture here that I got from a website where you can get free images that uh, aren't under copyright. Anyways, so that's the templating. Again, I'm just going to give you a very high overview of, of the different features that uh, are available to you in WordPress. Another one is uh, when you're actually making a blog post, you click on posts and add new up top there is how you add a new post. And then I'll put uh, uh, getting started with WordPress for my first blog post. I'll put in a bunch of text here, right, right, right. Down here, you'll have, uh, oh, what are categories do you have? Sorry. Uh, you'll have assignment one blog posts. I don't have this here just because this is this website wasn't created with the template for EDCI 337, but I'd select the blog post category there. I'll just say EdTech as blog post. And when I'm ready to submit it, I hit publish and then it's publicly available. Um, one thing that is really easy to do, let's say that I've got a YouTube video that is related to um, Uh, video, um, let me just find a video here related to WordPress that I want to include. So I'll go, okay, WordPress, let's say I want to include this video because it's relevant Hi, to, Tyler, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a, it's relevant to the, my blog post. So I'll copy the address up top here. I can close the video, go back to my blog post and I just paste the URL there and magically it will embed the video for me. So embedding videos is actually very, very easy. And then I can, um, I can type, oop, let me just show you here, hit enter and then I can do some typing below it. Let's say I wanna add a picture up top here uh, and I want to find a, an attractive picture. If I have my own picture, I can upload that just fine, of course. But let's say I want to get a pretty picture about um, my daughter really like miniature goats. So I'm going to search for a goat to put on here. And again, these are all free images that people have uh, licensed so that anyone can use them. Um, and this is a pretty goat image here. So I'll click on that. And then I'll click on the download button here. And I'll just type goat, just so it's easy for me to find. And it has a little thing here, say thanks. Uh, and so I'm gonna give credit to Ray Alcott eventually, but I'll come back to that in a sec. So I'll go here and I wanna add media. And the image isn't here, I need to upload it. So I'll click upload files. 
select files, and then it's it downloaded into my download folder. There's goat and boom, open. Now I wanna give that person who created the picture credit. So after it finishes, so there's our goat. Before I embed it in the blog post, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna copy this information here, or I can just click on that button to copy it. Go back here and I'll put it in the caption. Paste that in the caption and insert into post. There we go. We've got a beautiful and it's given the credit there. That is rather big though. So to make it smaller, if I click on it, click on it and then click the little pencil for editing, that's full size. That's a little big. I want it maybe medium size and I want it to align to the right. So it sort of floats over to the right and then update. And there we go. So we've got our goat over there on the right. Actually, that's a little small, so I'm gonna make it large update. There we go. We have our goat. And then publish, and that will publish my blog post so that it's publicly available. And I, if I click on this permalink, it will go to the front page of my blog. And there's my gibberish text, my picture of the goat and the embedded video. Um, so that is blog post. Any questions about, about blog, creating a blog post or embedding an image? I'm gonna make these slides available with links so that, for example, this Unsplash website, which is really great for finding images um, that you don't have to worry about getting sued for if you use them. I'll put a link to that in the, the notes uh, with this video as well so that you can reference it later. But I'll put the, uh, put the link in the chat just in case you wanna check it out right now. It's called unsplash.com. Um, let's see, YouTube videos we've covered. One other thing that uh, sometimes can confuse people, I'll go back to the admin interface and I do that by, this is the name of my website, the Makerspace Zone. And if I mouse over that and then click dashboard, it takes me back to the admin interface for the website. And you'll notice that there are posts here, which we just did is a, is a post. There's also a pages tab here. And sometimes people get a little bit confused about posts and pages. So if I, I'm just gonna go to the website here. This front page here is a running list of all of the posts that I've created over time. And so always the newest post goes at the top. So if I refresh this now that I've made another post, the latest post is that goat image and the video. And then the next one is the previous one I did, which is free inquiry. So those are posts and they, the newest one always shows up on the top of this page. This about me link here goes to a page. So this stays the same all the time. It doesn't uh, get something new appearing every time. This is just something that's relatively static. I can change it. So if I go back to my admin interface here and I've clicked on pages, if I click on about me, I can go and I can change this. Um, more info about me and I could put a picture here. Um, if I wanted to, I could put a video, but this will stay, uh, basically stay just with that information. It won't get updated when I do additional pages or additional posts. I could make additional pages of course, uh, but that's completely, completely up to you how many pages you want to do or how many posts. Let me just go over to, uh, this is the template website. So this is what yours would look like when you first create it. And if we go to posts, and this is the welcome one that we've created for, you can delete it after you've created your own post, but this is what the categories look for. So if this was my first blog post, I would click on assignment one blog post, uh, which would be sort of your reflections on creating your WordPress website. Um, and then we'll click update there. And I'll view my post here. And by selecting that 
blog post one category, if I click on multimedia learning and then assignment one, that blog post will magically appear under there as well as any other blog posts that I tag with assignment one. If I go to assignment two, there won't be anything there because I don't have any blog posts that I've tagged with that assignment two category. So I think, just see, I think that's where I'm going to leave it for now. There's one other thing that you might be interested in, like you probably saw in my introduction, I manage the Digital Scholarship Commons in the library and we offer digital cryptographically inside, uh, cryptographically signed badges for workshop completion. And if you're interested in getting a workshop badge for WordPress, we offer a workshop uh, WordPress badge. Uh, just email me after the workshop's over with the address of your website and I will send you a badge along with instructions on how to embed the badge on your, uh, your LinkedIn page, for example, or you could link to it on your website as well. And we have probably every other week there will be a, a, a badge that you could earn for completing the activity of the week uh, in the lab or if you do it on your own, that's just fine as well. So uh, are there, Ben, you had a question, I believe. And if anyone else has a question, please uh, unmute your microphone. Actually, let me stop recording now. Um, where's the stop? Uh,